So in this video, I take you inside a Bent and Dent store in an Amish community in Kentucky. So a Bent and Dent store is a common type of store run by Amish. Uh, if you're not familiar, these types of stores sell products that are past the best buy date or that have damaged packaging. So in the video, I take you around the store. So the owner, an older Amishman, was in the store. I happened to drop by a little bit before closing time, and he let me walk around the store, film. The clip starts off with me having asked him who shops at his store, who are his typical customers. And he tells me about the store, what he sells. We also talk about how he lights the store and about how he heats the store as well. Interestingly, we also see a device that he uses to help with the heating of the store. And you'll see what I'm talking about towards the end of the video. So I hope you enjoy. Let's have a look inside Miller's Country Store. That come out here? More Amish people than Amish, really. Really? Okay. Kind of from all over the area? Yeah. Some... Well, they come from Ohio. And, well, then there, there's quite a few of us. The Amish moved out. And they, there's not, uh, you know, people moved in and they're, uh, they're coming in here now from other states. And... Okay. So back here, you, you don't have as much of the food stuff. This is more of the... Well, this was the... That was part of the other store we had. Uh, the the shelf right here, in fact, between them windows right there is what we used to have. Okay, kind of the variety store yeah. uh, goods? Okay. Dry goods store. That's uh... But this stuff here, we ordered this, this all, most of this. Uh -huh. This was from the other store. Okay. But this stuff down here is, we ordered that. Okay. This is for kids, yeah, well, babies, uh, this is di diapers and stuff. Okay. Diapers and, uh, and the other stuff comes with the loads, uh, like it might be right in with the, bulk fo uh, the food stuff. Okay. So you just get kind of a load of food. Yeah, food and banana boxes and whatever's happens to be in it, that's what we get. Okay, and you don't know what you're going to get. No, we don't know what we're getting. Gotcha. Okay. Well, let's, um, let's see. Let, let's look at the food then. So that's your main main thing here. Store. The store's called Miller's... Uh, Miller's Country Store. Okay, gotcha. That's right. And so you got vitamins and things back here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Vitamins, and then on the other side we've got like the uh, food stuff. Uh, For illness? Yeah. Okay. You also had some bake, baking stuff yeah. here. Okay. Pancake mix. Pancake mix and stuff. Some canned goods in there. Canned, canned goods right there. Okay. We'll give everybody a tour here. So I did this actually uh, a couple weeks ago. I've got some friends in Virginia that have a variety store. I did a little walkthrough like this just to give people a look at what, you know, all the things you got in here. So here's your, here's your, this is your light usually. Is this a pressure? Yeah, pressure, yeah. Pressure lamp? Yeah. What does that burn? Well, you can put kerosene in it. We got mineral spirits. We use mineral spirits. It's Min burns cleaner. Mineral spirits, okay. And what is mineral spirits? That's something I hadn't really. It's something like a paint thinner. Okay. It, it's not really called paint thinner, I guess, but it's similar to it. Is that naphtha? No. No. <coughs> It'll, it's just like, more, more like kerosene. Kerosene, okay. Naptive. I don't know. What is naptive? Uh, I thought it was a. Isn't it like a white? Uh, well, we can get the white gas. Gas, yeah. We, we sometimes put uh, mixes with white gas. Okay. White gas is more explosive. You can uh, put the mix in there and you can burn it cleaner than kerosene. Uh, kerosene or mineral spirits. Okay. No, mineral spirits burn cleaner than white gas or kerosene. Because I had I had that lamp already. I don't know how long burning mineral spirits, and I haven't had to clean it once. Okay. Where uh, kerosene would have to, probably would have to clean it up five, six times a week. I see. And when you say clean, so yeah, it's about how often you have to clean it, but do you also notice anything like in the smell or in the air? Or? Uh, my it, wife, they, I don't smell this much, my wife does, she can smell it. Okay. It kind of leaves an odor. And okay. She's not case she can handle the odor as much, I guess. I don't I see. I do sometimes smell it. If you leave the, if it burns out and you don't turn it shut right away, then uh, yeah, it'll come out. Gotcha, gotcha. And we got the odorless uh, 
narrow skirt. So. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. So, all right. So a little harder than flicking a switch, but. Now that's what we're wanting to do right now. Is that tonight is going to Walmart and see if we get some battery powered uh, lights that we can hang in the ceiling. Okay. And just pull a cord and it'll light up, and then once the people are out of here or whatever, then you can just pull it again and roll. So it'd be easier, like if you got people like me, just kind of coming. Yeah, about this time of night when you need the lamps, you right. Quick light, you can just pull the lamp where where you're at. And you don't have to worry about yeah. firing something up. Yeah. Okay. And is that in the church? Uh, the ch so the church is is okay with with uh, with that type of lamp. Yeah. Well, yeah. they're, they're the, we'd have, we have to use, can't use the rechargeable ones. You'd have to get the batteries that throw away. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. I think I walked around here. Uh, I didn't really point out things <laughs> one by one because you have about 10,000 things in here. But I guess people are going to get kind of a view of what you have in here. This is, this is what I got. I got some of these snack bars today. It's peanuts. And uh, wait, what's in here real quick? That's candy parts and... Uh, okay. And okay. This video is going to be a little bit darker, but that's... That's okay. It's gonna be. It's gonna have an authentic effect, <laughs> right? Then better if it gets more daylight. Yeah, no, that's okay. I think I can even play with it some, to maybe bring the. Um, oh, here we go. It's called Amish Uber, huh? This is. Uh, <laughs> that's a quick ride there. Yeah. Yeah. That's call Andrea. That's Amish Uber. All right, and you got you got a lot of taxi services up here, yeah, don't you? Bring them in here and put them up. Okay, garden tilled. So this is a little bit of a. Bulletin board, whatever you call it. Yeah, so people want to need to find someone that'll drive them. Then this is what they, you know, this technology is never working when you want it to, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's too complicated. So tell me again. This is so. This is your stove, and the thing on top. Basically, you know, stove burning wood, mm -hmm. and this on top is basically made out of metal, and the heat heats it up. Mm -hmm. Spins. Like a fan. Mm-hmm. And then it just blows that heat. Blows the heat, uh, or it circulates the heat. All through the building, through the store. No, it kind of, it just keeps it circulating where it keeps the furthest parts of the one. Okay, gotcha. And then this grade is if it gets going too fast, you can put it on that. Mm -hmm. You said, okay. And I'll slow it down a little bit. It's the air. All right. Sounds good. So that's the store. Everybody, come check it out. And uh, there we go. Great.